In this video, I'm going to give you some pointers with respect to calculating an adjusted Cohen's d that is comparable to the partial eta squared outputted in an analysis of covariance. The key is to look at the estimated marginal means table, where you get the adjusted means, which includes the body size covariate in the context of this example. So male and female means have been adjusted. The difference is smaller than what is observed in the unadjusted means. The challenge with the Cohen's d estimate on the basis of these means is that the standard deviations are not reported. But I point out in the textbook that you can transform these standard errors into standard deviations, which would then allow you to calculate an adjusted Cohen's d in the ANCOVA context. And the key trick is to know that the standard error is related to the standard deviation, such that you just have to multiply the standard error by the square root of n. So in this case, female standard error 0.024 and sample size of 60, well a sample size of 60 square rooted equals 7.746 and then I multiplied that and then I multiplied 7.746 by the standard error. So 7.746 times 0.024 equals 0.186 rounded and I did exactly the same thing for the males to get the male adjusted standard deviation. So a square root of 40, which is the sample size, is 6.32. And then I multiplied 6.324 by the standard error, 0.032. And that gave me an adjusted standard deviation of 0 0.202. And then with these values, I was able to calculate an average st standard deviation to use in the denominator portion of the adjusted Cohen's d formula. And in the numerator, of course, I used the estimated marginal means from the ANCOVA. So the difference between these two means divided by the average of the adjusted standard deviations. Now I mentioned in the textbook you might want to calculate hedges g if you want to make that little extra effort. And what I calculated in the textbook was an adjusted Cohen's d equal to negative 0.655. When you compare that against the Cohen's d that is derived from the non-adjusted means and standard deviations, it is actually much smaller. In fact, the unadjusted Cohen's d is equal to negative 0.43, which is much bigger. It's dropped to negative 0.655. That is how you can calculate an adjusted Cohen's d in the context of ANCOVA.